Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to enable HDR Windows 10. Talk about what you can do if you don't see it, don't have it, want it, don't want it, don't know. High dynamic range. That's what HDR is. It works with your photos, your videos, your games. And it's a huge improvement over the standard dynamic range, which is what you have if you have an older computer or monitor. So you need to have these specs, NVIDIA 900, AMD 300 or newer or the Intel integrated graphics on their seventh generation or newer processors. HDR can be a little bit confusing. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about that in a minute. Let me, let me see how we can turn it on. Let's do that first and we'll bounce back around. Let's go to start, click on settings, click on system, and you should be in the display tab by default right here. Here's your HDR, you can turn it on just like that. Your screen will go blank, and when it comes back, HDR will be enabled. There you go. And there's the settings here. It doesn't do too much. Make sure you have your display picked. You might need that later. And you can see what is available. Video, HDR, WCG apps. Stream HDR video. And, of course, your brightness. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Whatever. So, as a general rule, I've decided to go off with it. I haven't seen anything huge that changes my day. Everybody's different, and that's okay. We're going to again talk about that. Now you know how to turn it on and off. Let's figure out what else is going on here. So, if you got to start, if I didn't mention this, I may have, settings, system display, and you don't see this, your computer does not support HDR. It's going to be sitting right here for you. So, a couple things you can do. Look up your monitor. Find out what brand your monitor is. If you think it supports HDR, find out if it does. And then just look around the back of your monitor for the sticker and see if there's a driver available for it. Kind of unlikely. Typically, the monitor drivers work right with Windows 10 fine, but it's possible. Windows Update. Make sure your windows are up to date. Your Windows 10, that is. And if you're using the drivers in Windows Update, that helps as well. So then you know you're up to date the best you can be. And as I mentioned, when you went to the HDR color settings I showed you, if you see no, 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 that's how you know it's not supported. Got a laptop, you want to want to plug it in. May not work properly if you are on battery. Another possibility is possibly if you have the cables, switch from your HDMI to your display port or back and forth. So there you have it. So do you do it? It's really easy. Turn it on, see if you like it. If you don't, turn it off. There's some things that get a little weird with HDR. Let's say you're playing games and NVIDIA even has a support page about this. Let's say you're playing an NVIDIA game and the game is supported. You turn on HDR in the game. What your NVIDIA graphic card is going to do is it's going to attempt to upscale, if you will, HDR, but you've already told your computer it doesn't work. And according to NVIDIA's support page, if you're going to enable HDR in a game, you got to enable HDR in Windows. You can't have it one way or the other. I am told, and I don't know, that there are some apps out there that supposedly work with HDR without having enabled Windows 10. So feel free to leave a comment if you want to fill me in more on that. I'm relatively new at this. I actually bought this big old monitor you see here just to get HDR and have some fun with this video and play around with it. So again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, let's discuss what you want to do. Try it out. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you've got it, try it. If you like it, leave it. I'm leaving it off for the time being until I find a better reason or where I need it. And again, this is mostly a, I work, I play games, I work, I play games. That's it. So I'm not streaming a lot of videos and st or watching pictures and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter too, too much to me. So let me know how you make out with it. But once again, enabling, it's really, really simple to do if available. As always, up in the video somewhere is an I. So if you want to follow through in this video at home, I know I go a little quick sometimes. You can click the I, jump over, and you'll jump right to this page. Or look in the video description where you can leave a comment and you'll see a link there. And that'll allow you to follow through or even bookmark this page for later if you want to follow it later on from home, for example. So 
And don't forget HDR monitors, if you decide you want to get one, tend to be pretty expensive at this point in time compared to a you know, 27-inch standard entry-level model, for example. This is like a 34-inch ultra-wide. It's a killer, man. It's a gigabyte. Pretty cool. And there you have it. I rambled on long enough. I appreciate you watching. Bottom right corner, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Click like. You know the drill. See ya.